Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on something called order of operations. So the first page you're going to take notes with me, so follow along. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems in your own. And then at the end you can see how you did. Alright, so what exactly are the, or is the order of operations? Well, the order of operations is, is a precise order of how you need to simplify expressions. If you don't follow the order, you're, you're at risk of getting a different answer. Alright, so maybe you've heard the term PEMDAS before. Well, PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So really, this is the, the order you have to follow if you want to simplify an expression. Now, there's two key things I want to point out, okay? Notice how the multiplication and uh, division are the same color, all right? These two can switch around, all right? The one that you do first is the one that's furthest to the left of the expression. Same thing for addition and subtraction. Well, sometimes you're going to subtract first if subtraction comes before addition. So let's just jump right into a problem. All right, so here we have 5 plus 8 divided by 2. So we have addition and uh, division. So if you notice, uh, division comes before addition. So we're going to do that first. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So now we're going to have 5 plus 4, which simplifies down to 9. And there it is. If you don't follow that, that exact order, you won't, won't get 9 for the answer. All right, let's take a look at example number two. Here we have 100 times two divided by 50 uh, minus 100. So we have multiplication, division, and subtraction. Well, remember, you always wanna work left to right. So we're gonna first do multiplication and then division. All right, so 100 uh, times two is 200. So we have 200 divided by 50 and then minus 100. It's really important that for every single step you re rewrite the original problem. So now 200 divided by 50 is 4. And then 4 minus 100 is going to give us an answer of negative 96. And there it is. All right, one last one. Here we have uh, two se separate sets of parentheses. And notice PEMDAS begins with a P. And anytime you have parentheses, you follow the order of operations inside each parentheses. All right, so the first one we have uh, three divided by 10 and then plus five. So I'm gonna actually box this in and treat this like its own separate little problem. So I first need to divide. So 30 divided by 10 is three. And then three plus five will give us 15. So that's the first part. So I'm gonna put that back in the parentheses. Now I'm gonna focus on the second set of parentheses. Negative 6 plus 10 gives us a 4. And now finally I'm going to multiply. 15 times 4 gives us a 60 for our simplified expression. And there it is. So the key things to remember about the order operations. All right, parentheses first, then exponents, and then multiplication and division. But again, the order that matters depending on which one appears first. And then the same thing for addition and subtraction, okay? You always work left to right. So sometimes you might subtract before you add, depending on the, of, of the order of the numbers. All right, so now that you've been introduced to the order operations, why don't you pause the video and try the your problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I did with these your turn now problems. All right, so what I've done to save time is I've done the problems out. And for every step of the order operations, I tried to use a different color. So what I want you to do is, is go through these problems and make sure you did everything right. And if you made an error, see what you did wrong. But I want to take a minute and just go over the, the third one um, because that's where I've noticed I, I see most of the mistakes. So here we have two to the fourth power plus three times five plus three. So again, according to order operations, we need to do the exponents first. So two to the fourth power, number means two times two times two times two, which is 16. So that's where that 16 comes from. And then notice I wrote down the rest of the problem. And then now we have 16 plus three times five plus three. Well, now we have to multiply. So three times five gives us a 15. And then I wrote down the 16 and the three. And then finally, we added 16 plus 15, because remember, you work left to right every single time. And 16 plus 15 gives us this 31. 
and then 31 plus 3 gives us the 34. All right, so please go back and look at problems number 1 and 2 and see how you did. And hopefully you now have a better understanding of the order operations.